Hello and welcome to the Grow Your Business Show with Smita Singh. Welcome you all and thank you so much for listening to 105.3 Dabang FM. I am super excited to be here. This is going to be amazing. Um, I do have to tell you a secret before I move forward. So I do a lot of podcasts and I go up on stage and I speak and I present in front of CEOs and I do all of that stuff. And yet when I was coming in today, I was nervous. I was like, wait, this is the first ever radio show solo and I have to keep talking for a whole hour. So I do have a ton of information, ton of tips, t- tricks and tactics for you every every Thursday, one to two. But in the beginning, if I keep saying um and I stop talking for like five seconds, know that I'm trying to gather my thoughts. <laughs> so bear with me. And I am so excited to be here. I really have so much to talk to you about and share with you and really bring to you stuff that you can learn. And before I get into the business part of the show, I do want to congratulate the team of Radio The Bang. They've been doing so well. Their whole new programming, I hope you all, you all have been listening. The Bridge from 12 to 1 is amazing. And the Kana Sutra and Going Green. And they're doing such amazing content, which is very important. And it's fresh and entertaining and really bringing in a few, you know, all these fresh new listeners. So, you know, give them some support. Call them. Tell them how they're doing. This is amazing. This is very new to Houston. So I would love for you to call us and tell us how we all are doing and support us. So you can call me at 713-974-4000 to any time between 1 to 2. Ask me your business questions as I am giving you more information and giving you some practical tips and also you can download the app the Dabang FM app Um, go on Facebook like them on Facebook and do all the social media stuff I'm a business person so I have to tell you all this right (laughs) so go for it and um, follow us and definitely um, this is going to be a fun fun hour I'm going to be here every Thursday so don't forget call us and ask me your business questions So today, I'm going to make it a little bit more, um, I want to tell you about the show, I want to tell you about what I have in store for you, what I, what my vision is for the store, for the show, not the store, the vision for the show, so that y'all can get a little bit more, um, you can understand where we are coming from, what we want to bring to you, who I am, and all of that stuff. So getting right into it so i have decided to not play music on the show so you will be hearing me and you guys because i want y'all to call me and i can answer your questions so it's going to be you and me on the show only so get ready so the grow your business show what to expect from the show is really this show is to help you guys grow your business. It's for you, the entrepreneurs out there, to really help you with your mindset because you know business and entrepreneurship is a lot to do with mindset. To really help you with your everyday, maybe stuff that you're stuck on, maybe things that you're not, um, you don't know about and you don't have the time to research. Um, We'll help you with your marketing, with your social media. We'll give you a lot of practical tips that you can use instantly because a lot of times when we spend time reading or researching and things like that, you're, you know, you you go through like 1500 websites and you're like, wait, which one should I start first? So really, this is, we'll streamline it for you. This is where you will bring it together and we'll give you those one or two action items that you can go back and take and work on your business. Business. Um, I'll give you some book recommendations. I'll give you a ton of tips and productivity tools and stuff that everybody needs. And of course, the, the biggest thing is your phone calls. I want this to be an interactive show. I want you to call me even if, um, like Dina says always, you don't have to tell, identify yourself. You don't have to tell us who you are, but we want to know what you're thinking, where you're stuck so that we can help you get unstuck and we can help you with um, the resources that we have in store for you. So definitely call us. Again, the number for you is 713-974-4000. And um, 
I mean, it's any business related question. It could be something that you're wanting to do, something that you have done and you're not sure how to use it in your business. Go for it. Now, you know, I work with a lot of business owners and the first thing that I ask them every time is what is the mission for your business? What is your vision? And I felt like it was very appropriate for me to share that with you for the show because this is a show that we're starting out and we have brand new content for you and I want to tell you my mission so so that you guys are able to hold me accountable to say okay Smita everything that I talk about should be in line with the mission for the show so my mission for this show the grow your business show is to help you grow your business that's it that's the bottom line so it could be growing in terms of leads in terms of marketing in terms of growing your mindset growing getting ideas trying to and we can i mean if you have an idea we can kind of brainstorm together to see if it's something that's going to work so this is your place for anything business related and my mission is to help you grow your business. So definitely, I'm going to keep every time I come in, I'm going to say that to myself so that I make sure that everything that I talk about in the show is related to that. So, um, you know, when I when I was telling people, okay, we're starting a show, the first question that people ask me, okay, who's this show for? Like, yes, grow your business show, but who is this show for? Do I have to have a business to hear the show? Do I have to have a, a a retail store to hear the show? So, who is this show for? I have, I mean, literally, and when I say this, this is for anybody and everybody who's interested in entrepreneurship. And when I say that, this is for business owners that own a business currently, right? So you could own a business, it could be a small business, it could be a service-based business, it could be something that you're doing out of your house, it could be something that you you've just started or, you know, so it could be any any person who owns a business currently. Now, it could also be for people that are interested in starting a side business. So perhaps you already have a job and you're not ready to quit your job and you want to start a side business, but you're not sure where to start or what it entails. And maybe you're the first person in your family to ever have those genes of starting a business or that bug, that entrepreneurship bug that a lot of us get. Um, so it could be that you at this point have never started a business, but you are interested in doing it and you are kind of you know stepping on this stone there and putting your little you know toe big toe in the water and you're like okay you know what I want to try this but I'm not sure what's going on and and sometimes I think we all hesitate to ask people ask questions and really clarify because we you know we always have the thing oh what are they going to think about me so this is again your place where you can come in and ask and um so the show is for current business owners for um owners business owners or entrepreneurs that are wanting to start something it could be online an online business or a small business or a service based business whatever it is this is for you guys that are interested in business and entrepreneurship in any shape or form so you know my mission you know who this is for now if you're still hanging on and you're listening to me i want to tell you why you should listen to the show okay so if you are a business owner, if you're a current business owner and an entrepreneur, and you're probably thinking, you know what, I have so much going on. I have to work on my my employees, my marketing, and I need to get like five different leads that are coming in. And how do I convert these leads and all of this stuff? And you're like, why should I listen to an hour of, you know, I don't know what to, is this really going to help me? So this is the place where one to two, set, a, set it aside for yourself because this is where you come in and um, you know you really this is where you get your fresh ideas this is where if you're stuck on something you're like okay I'm I'm gonna get some fresh ideas and this is what I'm gonna put in my business immediately now before I get on to other reasons why you should listen to the show I'm gonna give you a quick break so I will be right back guys
trust yourself. Break some rules. Don't be afraid to fail. Abraham Lincoln said, if I had nine hours to chop down a tree, I'd spend the first six sharpening my axe. So all you business owners out there, are you ready to sharpen your axe? Hi, I am Smita Singh, a business and brand consultant, and I'm here to help you stand out and be remarkable. Join me every Thursday at 1 p.m. for a brand new action-packed interactive show, the Grow Your Business Show with Smita Singh, filled with chock full of business essentials, productivity, motivation, tips on growing an audience, branding your business, digital marketing, and of course, social media marketing. Don't miss it every Thursday at 1 p.m. The Grow Your Business Show with Smita Singh. Only on Radio Dabang. जिंदगी में हादसा एक बार होता है पर हमेशा याद रहता है एक्सीडेंट हो जाए तो कौन आपके बिल्स पे करेगा आपको जरूरत है एक ऐसे अटॉर्नी की जो आपके साथ खड़ा रहे जेम्स परकिंस आपके हक के लिए इंश्योरेंस कंपनी से लड़ेगा जेम्स परकिंस आपके हक का पैसा आपको दिलवाएगा जेम्स परकिंस आपका केस जीतेगा तभी अपनी फीस लेगा जेम्स परकिंस तीस साल ऐसी पर्सनल इंजरी और एक्सीडेंट क्लेम केसेस जीत रहा है अपने केस की फ्री असेसमेंट करवाए आपकी जबान में बात करें अभी कॉल करें सेवन वन थ्री सेवन एट वन जीरो सिक्स सिक्स जीरो सेवन वन थ्री सेवन एट वन जीरो सिक्स सिक्स जीरो देखो जश्न बहार Making the switch to Discount Power for your electricity is a breeze this spring. Log on to discountpowertx.com. Use promo code SPRING2017 and receive $50 off your first month's bill. There's no monthly base charge and no minimum usage fees. Discount Power is Inc. Magazine's fastest growing retail electricity provider in the USA. Discount Power believes in great rates, great service, and no gimmick products. So log on now, discountpowertx.com. Use promo code SPRING2017 and save $50. It's that simple. Certain terms and conditions apply. This offer is applicable to new residential customers only that sign up on discountpowertx.com. This offer cannot be combined with any other offers or promotions. $50 credit will be given on the first month's bill after successful enrollment. This offer expires June 5th, 2017. PUCT10161. <laughs> You do with love. You are so special. A gift from above. Pyaari, pyaari and with all my heart, I want to say, I love you, Mom. Happy Mother's Day. Sanatan Shiv Shakti Mandir of Houston sends a hearty invitation to all devotees on occasion of Shani Maharaj Jayanti and Havan on Thursday, May 25th. Shani Yagya Puja starts at 1 p.m., Havan at 4 p.m., Purnahuti at 6.30 p.m. and Aarti at 7 p.m. Mahaprasad will be served after Aarti. Devotees willing to sit in Havan and Puja can give names to priest Hardik Rawal or call temple at 713-278-9099 or visit the Mandir at 6640 Harvin Drive. Om Shri Shani Devaya Namaha. Everyone's thirsty. The Bun Cola. Get it here. All convenience store owners. If you're looking for supplemental income, we got news for you. Triangle Amusement brings you quality quine operated video amusement redemption machines. 10 times compliant with the Texas Penal Code of Chapter 47, Section 4701B. We have cheap proof bill acceptors, wireless printer behind counter, 7 day prompt service, and electronic locks to secure the machines. We take pride in the quality of our equipment and after sales services. We speak your life. Language. Call now 832 649 832 649 It's Sterling McCall Toyota's New Year.
Get then lease a new 2017 Corolla LE for only $179 a month for 36 months. Or get 0% APR for 60 months. Make a resolution to save. SterlingMcCallToyota.com Shai Dusmani of Sterling McCall Toyota. Don't wait. Call now. 713-270-3948. 713-270-3948. Ignore the naysayers. Work like hell. Trust yourself. Break some rules. Don't be afraid to fail. Abraham Lincoln said, If I had nine hours to chop down a tree, I'd spend the first six sharpening my axe. So all you business owners out there, are you ready to sharpen your axe? Hi, I am Smita Singh, a business and brand consultant, and I'm here to help you stand out and be remarkable. Join me every Thursday at 1 p.m. for a brand new action-packed interactive show the grow your business show with smeta singh filled with chock full of business essentials productivity motivation tips on growing an audience branding your business digital marketing and of course social media marketing don't miss it every thursday at 1 p.m the grow your business show with smeta singh only on radio dabang the Grow Your Business Show with Smita Singh. So, so far, you know my mission for this show now and who should be listening to this show. I was talking to you about why you should listen to this show. Now, before I go into that, I want to tell you that when you're having fun, time really flies. I mean, I can't believe it's already 30 minutes past the hour and I'm like, oh my God, I have so much to tell you guys. So, I'm really, you know, this is, yeah, I mean, this is going to be really fun, guys. I have so much information and I just can't wait to share it with you. So why should you listen to the show? If you are a current business owner and an entrepreneur, and I have been one and I still am, and trust me when I'm working on something or, you know, I have a new idea or something's going on, I'm so focused into it. And sometimes as business owners and entrepreneurs, you're very lonely, right? Because you're the you're the one who's wearing like multiple hats and there's, unless you have partners that are working with you, but still you're you know there's there's a lot that's going on in your mind and sometimes when you listen to a fresh perspective or when you listen to a certain tactic perhaps that i'm sharing on the show maybe you never know that's the answer to the question that you're looking for you're probably researching and you're like okay i'm gonna try this or i need to right so many times we have these to-do lists and we want to do this and we want to get you know 10 more leads and we want to close this and how do you change this and what what can you do in marketing to get more awareness for your uh, business and all of this stuff these questions that we have and these to-do lists and um, you know when you listen to the show sometimes you never know some of my action items you'll be like I can do this I can get this done in a day and you can see instant results and that's what's going to give you that momentum so if you are a business owner trust me this show can trigger ideas for you that can be in any field in your sales and your leads in your marketing any of that stuff and of course the other one is you know when the if you're just starting out and you're like okay i'm just starting out smita and i want to listen to business shows but perhaps i i'm not sure i mean this is the advice that you're giving or the stuff that you're talking about is way ahead of my what i'm looking at right now because i'm really in the you know infant stage of my business now when you're thinking that i will say that don't you want to shorten your learning curve like don't you want to learn from 
other people's mistakes versus having to make that same mistake over again and you know spending so much time and energy and all of that stuff versus if I sit here and I say okay you know what this tactic is working right now and if you have such and such business go try it that's really going to shorten your learning curve and that's what's going to give you that quick push to say okay let me get from you know a to c instead of having to go from a and then a a and then b and then now i'm making like five other mistakes and so yeah so this is if you're just starting out this is a great show to listen to so that you can shorten that learning curve and you'd rather know it beforehand instead of reinventing and learning from you know your own mistakes learn from other people's mistakes so this is almost like a mentoring right Now, if you're thinking of starting a business and you are on, you know, on the side you want to start a business or you are wanting to quit your job but you're not sure yet and and you're in that stage right now where you're unsure of is business entrepreneurship my cup of tea? This is where you come in and you listen because this is where we talk about the raw stuff, right? This is where you'll figure out what does it entail because every time entrepreneurship looks amazing from the outside but trust me i've been doing this for like over 10 years it's entrepreneurship is super gratifying but it is a lot of work it is a lot of work and if you've never been in business before or in entrepreneurship before this is where you understand and you see like you'll hear all of our struggles and our questions and our stuff you know the places where we've gotten stuck and you'll understand it and you'll know if this is something for me or maybe not yet or maybe yes this is great but i'd rather side start it on the side versus having to quit my job and do this so this is where if you are thinking of starting a business this is where you come in and really get the goods right this is where you really understand the whole layout of it so yes yeah, so this is for all of you guys who are again interested in business and entrepreneurship this is for you guys call me at 713-974-4000 i will start taking calls perhaps next week because i have so much to share with you today and i'm running out of time so we will start taking questions starting next week anything related to business and entrepreneurship is nothing is off limits so go for it it could be your mindset and perhaps what you're thinking right now and which way you should go any of it so coming to me why should you listen to me right um again as i had mentioned i have been in entrepreneurship and business for over 10 years and i've been there and done it it's not uh you know i've like i like i tell a lot of people i've opened boxes and i have you know uh made sure that i'm standing at the counter and i've done it all in a business especially as a business owner you know that you have to do it and unless you're in it you don't you cannot speak from from that that point of view you don't know exactly what's going on in your mind at that time so i've been there and done it and i've owned a service based business i've owned a retail store front and you know since then i've consulted with a lot of businesses um i've done i mean literally like product based businesses service businesses and it really gave me such a wide lens of you know the problems that people go through and i realized that no matter which kind of business you're in the basics are the same right we're all wanting to get awareness for our business we're all wanting to get leads we're all wanting to close leads we're all wanting sales it's the same thing and yet it's very important and it's so um from my perspective i've seen it in every you know kind of business so really it's 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 amazing and that's why this is where i want to this is where i'm giving back to the community right this is not a sponsored show this is not where we're asking you to say oh okay here you get all this free content and you get all this amazing tips and tick tricks and tactics and now you have to give something back nothing this is for you guys purely and simply for you because i have seen in all of my and i mentor a lot of women entrepreneurs in houston and in all of it i've seen that 
you know, people aren't afraid to ask questions because it's we either are not sure if, you know what, maybe that person wouldn't know because I'm in this circumstance or this situation right now. But at the end of the day, it's we're all in this together. So this is where you come in and you really open up and you can ask and I'm here to help you. So I work with, I own my, um, I own a social media agency. So we do social media marketing for small businesses, service businesses, and I consult and I mentor a lot of women in Houston. Uh, we have over 2,200 women in our group and it's amazing, you know, the things that I hear and I see and I'm going to bring all of that to the table. And also, um, so I work with, I do strategy and I help businesses grow and I work with a lot of uh, marketing, digital marketing and all of that stuff. And I am here to break it down for you bit by bit so I can make it easy for you. Awesome. So this is, guys, again, I'm so excited to be here. This is going to be a lot of fun every Thursday, 1 to 2 p.m. We're going to talk about certain topics. Um, it's Today is a more introductory uh, episode or introdu- I do podcasts, so I keep saying episodes all the time. Introductory day. I want to tell you about myself. I want to tell you about what I have in mind for the show. And um, really from next week onwards, we're going to get straight into action steps. But don't go anywhere because I am going to give you an action step today. So we're going to start with it. Um, and we do, I do plan to do segments. We'll do quick social media productivity tools. We'll do, um, you know, I want to do a lot of book recommendations because there's so much that you can learn and I was just talking to somebody where you know all the experience that one has we as as authors we put it in books and really you can just glean from it in one sitting so some of these business books are so amazing and I would love for you to read them and give me your feedback and really tell me what you took away from it so we'll talk about all of that stuff but today I want to get into the nuts and bolts of it right a lot of times when I talk with business owners there is uh, we as soon as we open a business or we start about start or we think about starting a business the first thing we think about is marketing right we just want everybody to know what we're doing that's great but today I want to break it down a little bit and talk to you about the difference between marketing and branding so when I ask you that question when I say Okay, do you know what is the difference between marketing and branding? Do you, does that marketing and branding kind of take up the same pigeonhole in your head? Are you like, hey, Smita, it's the same thing, right? Or can you tell the difference? Or do you know what comes first? What is more important? Have you ever thought about it? Have you ever thought about your business as the or as splitting into marketing and branding for your business? Have you? So if If that's something that you never have, I want you to think about it. It's a very important question. A lot of times we clump all of it into this one big bag of marketing. And even when we're creating our business plans, tell me, do you ever have two line items for branding and marketing? No, it all goes into that one big bucket of marketing. And unfortunately, you know, it's it's so easy to just say, I just want everybody to know about my whatever I'm doing. That's great. But sometimes it is very important to build your brand and really, you know, it, it branding comes before quality marketing. I really say that because it's it's so important to bring it together. If you're a business owner, it's, if you're an entrepreneur, if you're thinking of becoming an entrepreneur, it is so important to separate the two. And let me tell you really quick, like high, you know, um, one level up between marketing and branding. Marketing is the communication of your message. It is what you want. It's it's how you're telling your audience. What is it that you want them to know? Your ads that you're sending out on Facebook or your ads that you're doing on your, um, you know, social media, that's your frequent communication. That is marketing. And that's really, you know, once you understand the needs of your customers, once you understand what your audience is really wanting, that's when you're marketing to them, right? And that's when you're communicating to them. So that's your marketing. But what is branding then? That's what you're doing all the time. 
Branding is the story that you are telling them. I'm going to talk about branding in just a little bit after these messages. Ignore the naysayers. Work like hell. Trust yourself. Break some rules. Don't be afraid to fail. Abraham Lincoln said, if I had nine hours to chop down a tree, I'd spend the first six sharpening my axe. So all you business owners out there, are you ready to sharpen your axe? Hi, I am Smita Singh, a business and brand consultant, and I'm here to help you stand out and be remarkable. Join me every Thursday at 1 p.m. for a brand new action-packed interactive show, the Grow Your Business Show with Smita Singh, filled with chock full of business essentials, productivity, motivation, tips on growing an audience, branding your business, digital marketing, and of course, social media marketing. Don't miss it every Thursday at 1 p.m. The Grow Your Business Show with Smita Singh, only on Radio Dabang. J. Dot Junaid Jamshed Spring Summer Collection Mera Andaz is now in stores A long silk and chiffon collection Infused with bright colors and extravagant prints That will bring out the life in you this summer Visit our store on Hillcroft Street In Houston, Texas To grab your favorite outfits DaisyWindows.com is offering you the world out there From free classifieds to events Restaurants and clubs to matrimonial From real estate to finance Movies to sports News and vehicles Shopping and lifestyle, healthcare to household, kids and electronics to education, daisywindow.com. Don't forget to check out Daisy Window ka most popular feature, live feed. Log on right now to daisywindow.com. Your Daisy portal is just a click away. Log on now to daisywindow.com. क्यों तुम्हारे साथ रह रह के मुझे जाना है अपने मैं के तुम फिर शुरू हो गई तुम्हें पता है बैक होम जाना कितना एक्सपेंसिव है तुम फिकर ना करो मैंने अल रयान को ढूंढ लिया है ये अल रयान कौन है ट्रैवल एजेंसी का नाम है इनके प्राइसेस सबसे लो है इनका ऑफिस कराची पाकिस्तान में भी है अल रयान को अभी कॉल करो 2814955555 2814955555 Hey, do you know Ali Hadar is in Houston and he's doing a radio show? Are you serious? When? What time? Where? Assalamu alaikum. Are dosto, yaro kya hal chal hai? Assalamu alaikum, adab, yali madad, sasriya kaal, namaste and hello, hello everyone. Sunna nahi bhooliye ga. Purani Jeans Morning Show with me, yani ke Ali Haider. Only on Radio Dabang, 105.3 FM. Monday to Friday, 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. Purani Jeans Morning Show, mere, yani Ali Haider ke saath. Aur mere saath, yaha par maujood honge mere do bohat zabardast RJs, yani ke Sayyad Ali and Najam. Sunna nahi bhooliye ga, sirf aur sirf Radio Dabang, 105. 105.3 कहीं भी और नहीं सिर्फ 105.3 ऐसे जिंदगी की मुश्किल राहों में किसी का हाथ चाहिए अंधेरों में उजाले की किरण भरे ऐसी कोई बात चाहिए वो हाथ और वो बात है अमीर अली डोडिया हेलो रेडियो दबंग लिसनर्स मैं हूं अमीर अली डोडिया आपके लाइफ इंश्योरेंस एस्टेट प्लानिंग बिजनेस और रिटायरमेंट प्लानिंग के लिए मुझे कॉल कीजिए मेरा नंबर है 8328770177 आपके भविष्य को मजबूत करने के लिए आपके साथ खड़े हैं अमीर अली डोडिया 8328770177 Agent with New York Life Insurance Company, Amir has won National Quality Award from National Association of Insurance and Financial Advisory for five consecutive years from 2010 to 2015. Call Amir Ali Dodia at 832-877-0177. Secret is affordable med spa and weight loss. That's right, affordable med spa and weight loss on Hillcroft. 
with mind blowing deals on weight loss packages starting from $180, monster slim injections and doctor's visit, facials starting from $75, microderma one set starting from $80. So ladies, before summer comes, lose that weight and get the chikni chameli look. Call now and avail these offers 832-767-4385, 832-767-4385. Ignore the naysayers. Work like hell. Trust yourself. Break some rules. Don't be afraid to fail. Abraham Lincoln said, If I had nine hours to chop down a tree, I'd spend the first six sharpening my axe. So all you business owners out there, are you ready to sharpen your axe? Hi, I am Smita Singh, a business and brand consultant, and I'm here to help you stand out and be remarkable. Join me every Thursday at 1 p.m. for a brand new action-packed interactive show, the Grow Your Business Show with Smita Singh, filled with chock full of business essentials, productivity, motivation, tips on growing an audience, branding your business, digital marketing, and of course, social media marketing. Don't miss it every Thursday at 1 p.m. The Grow Your Business Show with Smita Singh. Only on Radio Dabang. Hello and welcome back to the Grow Your Business show. I hope you guys are enjoying the show. Like I said before, this is a, a little bit more introductory show. And starting from next time onwards, I'm going to give you homework to do. So get ready, you guys. It's going to be fun. And um, seriously, time is just flying. I just have way too much to talk to you guys about. But uh, I'm going to save it. If I'm not able to finish it this time, I'm going to save it for next Thursday, 1 to 2. And I am not taking calls today, but I will start taking calls next Thursday. Call us at 713-974-4000 with any business or entrepreneurship question. There is nothing off the table, guys. So go for it. So before I left you guys for the break, I was talking about the difference between branding and marketing and why as a business owner, as an entrepreneur, it is so important to separate the two. Y'all need to, um, you know, really understand the difference because that's that's something that's going to skyrocket your success right in the beginning or you will learn but it's going to take you way more time to do that so as i was talking to you about marketing marketing is the communication of your message right it is what once you've identified your target audience your marketing is your communication to them so that you're telling them that i'm able to fulfill your needs and you need to come to me so that is your marketing. Now, once you understand the needs of your audience and you're communicating to them, that's, I mean, it's, that's the perfect kind of marketing. Now, when you market, what is it that you're trying to tell them? What is the story? What is the core of your existence? What is your purpose? What is your why? What is it that, you know, once you know it, people can identify you? That is your brand. What is it that when they, when as soon as they hear your name, they understand who you are or what you are or what you're identifying with, what your mission is, what your why is. And we'll talk about more what about what your why is. We'll talk more about that in um, a different episode day. Um, and like I said, podcasts. Okay. So once you really understand your core of your existence, that is your branding. And you know, when we start a new project or we start a new business, we solely focus so much initially on marketing. Don't get me wrong. Marketing is extremely, extremely, extremely important. But before you start, you need to start thinking about your brand because the brand starts with you. It is what who you are in the core. It is what you want to be. It is where you want to take your business. It is where your your perception of your business is to the to your audience. So 
before you you know before you're getting into the marketing and you have a um, a plan for it and all of that stuff you need to understand you need to have a very clear strategic understanding of where you are going right and of course don't get me wrong you are going to pivot a lot of times entrepreneurs and business owners they pivot in what they're doing so perhaps they start off with saying that um, you know so and so is my target audience and then they realize that okay this is great I mean mothers are my target audience but what about grandmothers or what about you know aunts and uncles so it could be anybody and you are you can pivot but again your brand perception would be different for your audience so mothers perhaps if they're your target audience they're going to look at you differently than a grandmother would a, an aunt would look at your your brand or your business differently than um, you know a grandmother would so it's really what you are trying to build out there now a lot of times and we'll talk more about it we'll go in depth but a lot of times people will ask me Smita, I have a small business and do I really need to build a personal brand? And the question for that or the answer for that is it depends on what your needs of your business is. A lot of times people love to do business with people, right? They would rather do a they would rather do business with a person. So when you are when you have that in mind, even if you have a small business, um, especially for service-based business is your brand, your personal brand kind of coincides and collides with your business brand. Suppose you are somebody who's selling, um, you know, uh, stuff out of your house. So when you're doing that, your personal brand literally is your, your brand of your business, right? So it's so important to keep that in mind because perception is something that is very hard to to change. If somebody comes in and they see that you're not being professional perhaps in your business or or you know it, whatever you're saying you're not delivering all of that stuff builds into that perception into your branding. So brand building is needed for businesses as well as personal. And like I said people enjoy doing business with people. So it's really P2P. Always remember that even if you're a B2B business so you're directly dealing with other businesses or you're directly dealing with companies or whatever it is at the end of the day it's people you are doing business with a person so even if it's a um you know a store or a service-based business or a small business whatever it is we categorize it b2c b2b all of that stuff but again always always remember the end of the day you are doing business with a person so your brand perception is very important and sometimes a brand perception can determine if a person is going to come to you again or come back to you after they've done business once or not so that's branding and marketing. I mean, there is a very subtle difference, but it is so important to understand that because that's really going to help you look at short term and long term, right? Your short term marketing versus your long term branding. And um, so again, branding is what you are at the core of your existence. It is your your story. It is what is it that you want people to know about you. So for example, I work with a lot of women business owners and um, you know and I give back to them so I I love to mentor them that's my core that's what I enjoy doing I enjoy mentoring people because I I want to lead them to success and when I'm thinking about that that's the brand that I'm trying to build right or I have built in in the community I've I it's the giving back so what is it that you have built what is it that you want to build what is it that you where do where is it that you want to go to and of course you know the small and service-based businesses they the personal brand is very close to your professional brand so always remember that because you are the face you're the voice of your business you are 
when people come think of uh, your business, they think of you. And so it is very important to put that out there and to understand that. So always remember person to person because at the end of the day, a person is deciding if they want to do business with you or not. So super important. Understand the difference between marketing and branding and introspect a little bit in what you're doing currently. What is it that you know what what is it what are the activities that you're doing today that are helping you with your marketing or what are the activities that you're doing today that are helping you build your brand awesome so i don't have much time left today again call me next time 713-974-4000 we were talking today about the difference between marketing and branding and i'm not giving you a tip today but i am going to give you an action step um i i am going to try to starting next thursday i will give you tips that you can use and all of that stuff but today i really want you to get right into your business if you are serious about this i want you to do this for me i want you to sit down for about 10 minutes it could be in the morning it could be at night just when it's super quiet and this is for this is for people that already have a business that have just started a business or that are wanting to start a business so it's for all of you guys out there this is what i want you to do i want you to write down four things number one purpose number two positioning number three promise and number four, personality. And there's a fifth one, but I'm gonna talk about that next time. But I want you to write these four things down. Your purpose, your positioning, your promise, and your personality. And for your business, I want you to write two sentences for each. So what is your purpose? Do an inventory. What matters to you? What is the purpose for your business? So for example, the mission, for me, the purpose of my show here from 1 to 2 at on 105.3 is for you to grow your business. That is my purpose. That is my mission. And everything that I do related to that will be for that. Whatever I talk about will be for that. So write down what your purpose is. Number two, positioning. Why are you different? Articulate in perhaps a line or two, why should people come to you and buy what you're providing? Why? Why? What is it that what, what is it that makes you different? Number three is promise. What are you promising your customers? It could be, you know, better pricing, better customer service. It could be anything. What are you promising? Perhaps great quality of product, whatever it is. What are you promising them? And number four is personality. What describes you? What are the characteristics that describe your business? Is it fun? Is it serious? Is it whimsical? Is it you know with a sense of humor is it funny is it what is it what is it about your business what are the characteristics of a personality and think of it as a person right what is it the the characteristics that are describing you and your business so do this for me guys this is your homework for today and i i i yeah i'm gonna say that it is your homework this is your action step for your business and again for anybody it could be somebody who's already in business or wants to get into business or um somebody who's been doing this for the past 15 years take an inventory guys step back for a second do these four things what is your purpose purpose what is your positioning what is your promise and what is your personality and i have a fifth one that i will talk to you on thursday with a another action-packed amazing show and come back i have tons of goodies for you guys all right thank you so much bye ignore the naysayers work like hell trust yourself break some rules don't be afraid to fail Abraham Lincoln said, if I had nine hours to chop down a tree, I'd spend the first six sharpening my axe. So all you business owners out there, are you ready to sharpen your axe? Hi, I am Smita Singh, a business and brand consultant, and I'm here to help you stand out and be remarkable. Join me every Thursday at 1 p.m. for a brand new impact interactive show the grow your business show with smeta singh filled with chock full of business essentials productivity motivation tips on growing an audience branding your business digital marketing and of course 
social media marketing. Don't miss it every Thursday at 1 p.m. The Grow Your Business Show with Smith Singh.